Thanks again for watching, and remember, keep on filmmaking and have fun creating. Bye for now. Okay, you have finished editing your video in DaVinci Resolve and uploaded it to YouTube. So, what should you do with the project and all that footage? Do you keep everything on your computer? Or, you know, just in case you might need it someday? Or do you just delete all the footage to make room for your next video project? If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to let me know to keep on making these types of videos. And remember to click the bell so you'll be notified next time a new video is uploaded. Well, in DaVinci Resolve, you can neatly store your project without deleting all your footage so you can access them anytime you want. Let's head over to the computer so I could show you the media management feature in DaVinci Resolve. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17. To use media management, we need to go up to File and then select Media Management. Right here, we have three options. Entire Project, Timeline, and Clips. You would use Clips if you are copying just certain clips within your project. And Timeline is copying your timelines. As you can see, I have a second timeline here, which I always like to use to create thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Some other people may uh, use additional timeline to do a test edit, or they may edit scenes in different timeline, so they could use this differently. Because we want to copy the entire project, we would select entire project. Here we have two options, copy and transcode. You would use transcode if you need to change the format of your project, maybe selecting a different video format um, so it, it will have a better playback or you would you go into uncompressed depending on what you need um, or you know make a, the file even smaller so you would uh, make changes here if you need to what i like to do is just use copy this will copy exactly what i have uh, the original file that it was used in my project so um, the destination will be on the desktop. You can select use media and trim keeping X number of frame handles. Um, right now, if it's set to zero, you are selecting exactly what you have trimmed this clip to be. If you go up, uh, my timeline is on a 24 frames per second. So if I select 12 frames, this will give me tw uh, half a second. This means that I, I, I am using 12 frames before and I'm keeping 12 frames after this clip. So if I need to make any minor adjustment either way, I could do this. Every clip here is trim, but it will keep 12 frames before and after of this trim. All right and this will give you the, the smallest file size. If you're using this, which is exactly the same as this, if you're using the, 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 the both timeline, okay? Now, if you're not using this, then you could use Use Media, which does give you, a, you know, the current size. So if the clip, if, if this clip is long and you trimmed it uh, to this size, the whole clip before trimming will be copied over. And all media means you have an even bigger size because you are using all the media in your media pool, that including the media that was not used. Um, say for example, you put all your media into your media pool and you, some you select to use and some you don't, uh, by selecting all media, even the clips that you did not use, uh, it will be copy. So you could, if you need to swap out some of these clips, those unused clip you could use in the future. I want to include even the clips that I haven't used. So I would choose this option and I would 
start. And altogether, there's 15 clips, and it'll take only a few seconds to uh, this to be finished. Okay, let's head over to the desktop to check it out. Okay, here we are on the desktop, and this is the folder that Media Management created. And let's open it up. Here we have all the folders include where the images and the clips all uh, all all in one place. Okay, all together, and even the song that it was used in the video, it was there. So this is it everything all together in this one file and you could file it and keep yourself organized thanks to davinci resolve with this media management tool as you can see the media management tool will save you space on your computer helps you organize your projects and files save you time and make your workflow easier and more efficient if you find this video helpful please click the like button below so YouTube will share it to more people. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep on filmmaking and have fun creating. See you next time.